it has been established that banks will continue to increase the amount of credit to SMEs and consumers where they could better predict the payment probability by their potential borrowers. These were the views of the Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of CROC Credit Bureau Limited, Dr. Tunde Popola, during a roundtable meeting which was organized by the financial and business online publishers in Lagos. Asset finance for consumers and SMEs. An effective credit reporting infrastructure for a credit risk management system would usually have credit bureaus credit rating agencies, collateral registry, sound bankruptcy laws, and an efficient judicial system. Each of these will have a significant impact on access to credit, especially for consumers and SMEs. For the purpose of our discussion here today, I will focus only on credit bureau impact access to finance for consumers and SMEs. So what I'm saying here is that most countries in the world just don't shout about there are no access to credit for small consumers and SME. They, they try to find out why it is low. And they realize that government can support it. And part of what government does to support it is to ensure that we have good infrastructure. And I will just demonstrate to you um, practically how infrastructure enables activities. So now Lagos to Ibadan. How long does it take now to go from Lagos to Ibadan? Two hours, three days ago, we showed you. Okay. So, three years ago, how long was it? The whole day. Why is that? Why was that? It's because there was a failure of infrastructure. So, where there are no infrastructure, you cannot have efficiency. Somebody is supposed to travel from Lagos to Ibadan and he spent four or five hours. Me, I cannot, I, at least I can count three times. Change access to information to give loan to people. You only can give loan to only people you know, right? You need to be able to process the loan efficiently and with speed. That's the second thing you need. The third one, you need to be able to know whether the, 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 the consumer or the borrower has the capacity to repay your loan. You also need to know whether when he has the capacity, he has the willingness to pay the loan. Now, you have to have policies, regulations, infrastructure that can bring all of that to happen in an economy. All the countries that have told you have high credit bureau penetration and high credit penetration have credit bureaus, they have credit rating agencies, okay? They have good means of identification, they have good judicial system, the laws is such that you can't go to court and spend 10 years on one case. These are what we call financial infrastructure, or what we call credit infrastructure that supports access to credit. Where you don't have those infrastructure, the best of bankers will not give out their loans because they can't give loans that they are not sure whether it will come back or it will not come back. They want to give loan to you, they want to know you. They want to give loan to you, they want to be able to do it in seconds or in minutes. They want to give loan to you, they want to be sure that you have your, 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 your business exists and is functioning and is viable. The credit bureau infrastructure is one of those infrastructure that enable them to have the kind of information they need to be able to grant such loans. So the objective of credit bureau or credit registry, as we normally call us, information asymmetry between lenders and borrowers to facilitate information sharing among creditors, to reveal the extent of lending in the dark, and to enhance informed credit decision making. These are the four things that we do that credit bureau assists an economy to do, to benefit from. First is to clear out the issue of information asymmetry. Information asymmetry is you know where you have accounts as a consumer, as, as somebody who has an account. You know how much you have borrowed. They have your bank account. I don't know. I only know the one you have with me. How will I know what relation between the borrower and the lender? So Bureau help assist to close that gap because the Bureau has information about all borrowers. 
in the economy. And anybody who wants to give loans, come to that infrastructure to check. And it doesn't need, that institution doesn't need to ask you where you have loan or where you don't have loan. Once they come to there, they will see everything. Then it also encourages information sharing. All of us who are lenders in the economy, it enhances, it, it, it propels us, it stimulates us, it motivates us to share those information. There's no big deal about it. In those days, nobody shared information. Banks don't share information. But now they have to do that, and the bill is the one that makes that uh, happen. Then it is reducing the extent of lending in the dark. Lending in the dark is you don't know the customer. You just can rely on what the customer tells you. And that's why you have to know somebody who knows somebody who knows the brand manager before you take a loan. So that the brand manager can trace that same trace you back to that same line. Then with a bureau, you don't need to know the manager, you don't even know, need to know where the bank is. I don't know how many of you have gone in the banking hall. I don't know when last you have been in the banking hall today. I have not been the last one year. I don't need to. Because everything I can do, and I don't need to be in the branch where I open an account. I can transfer my business anywhere. So that's, that's, that's the extent of yeah, blocking, the extent of lending the dark. And then it makes decision making easy. It democratizes access to decision making. It takes decision making out of emotion. It's no longer it's my in law, he goes to my church, he worships in my mosque. No. It's about because those information are just in one place where they just flow to and then collect all those information. So for the purpose of our decision today, it uh, may suffice to briefly examine how the presence of credit bureau in fact access to finance for consumer and SMS in Nigeria. The presence of credit bureau promotes strong credit system. And a strong credit system promotes a productive economy by enhancing the quality of life of people through credit to consumers. A strong credit system normally and usually has a strong credit risk management system uh, to build trust gap with reliable information. A strong credit system makes it easy to determine the capacity to pay and the willingness to pay by borrowers. And these are two major important pieces of information that creditors require. Any lender or any creditor, lending, credit can be in two ways. It can be cash or it can be somebody selling to you on credit, right? So any of these two um, can be, you have to get the capacity to pay and the willingness to pay from, from, from that and be able to determine that. Having a good credit record means that a person has an established history of paying back 100% of his or her debt on time. A person with good credit record will always be able to borrow money more easily in the future and will be able to borrow money at better times. If I've been paying my, 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 my loans, if I've not been, you know, dodging, if I've not been loaned that I'm supposed to pay every 25th of the month, and now we're paying the following month, the fourth, okay? I can well, combine it two months instead of paying every month. I will be able to have access to credit. When a bank or a financial institution sees that kind of record that I hear on time, they will be willing, they will be looking for me. Okay? On the other hand, having a bad credit record or history. Today, according to Dr. Bokpola, most successful economies are driven by credits. Joy and Edu, CBED TV.